Hey everybody, this is Mr. Buttermunch, and this is your tutorial of how to start your day every single day for distance learning. Okay, uh, this is not just for the students, this is also for parents. Uh, if for some reason your student is having a really difficult time trying to get to distance learning, this is a really easy and brief video of how to do that, right? And all the different options in which your student's going to have. So let's get started. When you get to the top of the bar right here, you could just click right uh, on the bar and put Google Classroom in. And you go to your Google Classroom, classroom.google.com, and that'll be your account. Now, if you look down here, these are the accounts, right? You're gonna have your student put their PSIS 217 account. Unfortunately for parents, uh, you do not have a PSIS 217 account. Uh, however, you can go on to uh, Google Classroom with your student's account, right? Uh, so this is just a student that we just created just for this uh, tutorial. So it's six, seven, eight student. Obviously, you'd put in your own uh, at psis217.net and click next. It's going to ask you for your password. Let me just put my password in, please. And you're going to click next. Okay. So I'll be going into my classroom. And your Google Classroom will look, once it loads, will look like this, right? Uh, at the top left hand corner you're going to notice three little bars. If you click that, you can use, see that it says classes in it. Now many of you, if you have not joined the classes, you're going to see something like right over here where it says join and these little buttons right over here. Right? That just tells you that you are invited to it. All of you actually should already be invited to the classrooms themselves and you have to click join for you to be able to get into the classroom and start seeing work. Right? So if you look. I'm a 7th grade student. This is actually a sample 7th grade student. I have middle school music, middle school school art. I have 7th uh, grade ELA. I have 7th grade science with Ms. Quinones. I have 7th grade math with Ms. Vega. Um, I also have Mr. Buttermulch down here, U.S. history. And I have 6th uh, grade math as well. So if you're a 7th grade student, you shouldn't see that. Uh, but also, if I'm a 7th grade student, 6th um, or 8th grade student, you'll notice that you'll, there'll be a homeroom. Now this is a really important place to start because this is where you're going to start your day. So for me, I'm going to join my homeroom because uh, I'm going to see if there's any announcements either from the school or any announcements from my teachers. So here I am. This is my 701 homeroom. Wow, look at this picture. It looks great. Um, we look great. So we're going to come down here. I'm going to see that there are two different things that are materials. This is a video of how to take attendance and this is actually to take attendance. So every single day a suggestion is for your students six, seven, or eight to be able to take attendance. And when you click on it, you're gonna notice there's like an attendance form. You're gonna click the attendance form and you're gonna start taking the attendance. Now it's extremely important for you to take attendance because if you don't take attendance, then we don't think that you are in the school that day. The attendance must be taken by 11.30 every single morning. Now we know that there are people that have different computers, right? Or actually same computer for uh, different students. However, it is extremely important that attendance is taken by 1130. It is required by the Department of Education for us to continue um, having attendance. So your email should come up here. You should have your first name, last name, right? That you should put in. These are all required. That's the reason why that you have a little star there. Uh, we're going to ask you a simple question. How's remote learning going for you? You're going to actually choose it. And then if you want to elaborate your answer, which is not a required one, uh, you could tell us specifically how it's going. You could also uh, send yourself a copy of the responses just in case if you would like uh, for your own storage, right, uh, of all of your um, attendance records. Uh, you click submit and then you have your attendance. Now, I'm going to go back to my Google Classroom. I'm in my homeroom, right? If I want to get back to my classroom, so I'm going to go to the top left hand corner with the three bars. I'm going to click here and I'm going to click classes. Okay. I should see all of my classes in here still. Oops, excuse me. I should see all my classes in here, right? And I can really toggle through them. So let's go down to, do, 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 let's just say Mr. Button Launches, right? And then I'm going to join that. And you're going to notice that over here for parents and students, uh, students, you, you should guys already know this, uh, but for parents, if you don't know, uh, you should have things like assignments. Now, obviously we don't have Monday's assignment up because that's for Monday, but these are former assignments that are, it's going to look quite similar. So for example, on the 3rd, December 3rd, 7th grade had a review quiz. 
Uh, so if we click on that, you'll see that it takes us to a new page. And let's just say that there was a review sheet that you had to do for six, seven or eight for any classes, right? You're going to notice that it is an entirely new sheet, right? Um, many times the sheet will be like an assignment, maybe a reading, maybe a math problem and maybe a science problem as well. Um, then we're going to ask you to be able to fill it out and then um, submit it as well. So let's go to our other classes because I already f uh, finished the review sheet. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go back to my classes. Okay. Click on my classes. I'm going to go to Miss Vega's room. Okay. And I'm definitely going to join it because I want to make sure that I'm staying on top of all my class assignments, right? Now, while there aren't any assignments over, over here, if you want to share something with the class or with the teacher, you may actually do so by writing a comment in. This is a sample comment, comment right? Now, it's extremely important sometimes if you want to uh, be able to communicate with the entire class. Sometimes we're going to be asking you to communicate with the entire class and you could just put post and it'll post up, right? That'll actually be something on the wall. Keep in mind though, uh, that we are as our policy is with the um, middle school parent handbook. Uh, we are following um, the rules when it comes to uh, what we're posting, right? So we need to be conscious of the things in which we post and we need to be kind and actually courteous not only to our fellow students, but also to the teachers involved. Uh, so the things in which you type on here still follows actually the guidelines in which we have also uh, for the school itself. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to my uh, classes. So I'll just actually show you over here and go back to my classes. There'll be something also that says calendar. Maybe I want to click on that. Now, What's interesting is that every single time that there's something due, you'll have actually a calendar and each of the assignments that have already been assigned to you will be in this little calendar here. That might actually help you in regards to trying to understand what is being asked of you. So the calendar actually feature is really, really important. There's another feature also, which is a to do feature, right? The to do feature actually talks about the different classes that I'm in. Let's just say, what are the things in which I have to do for math? What are the things I have to do for uh, social studies and so on and so forth? And this is just a way of actually just showing what is your to-do list that might be helpful and then what you finished. Obviously, the student hasn't actually finished anything because we haven't really assigned anything to you. Um, but it could also tell you what you've done. This is really important too because let's just say that you go to your pupil path and for some reason, you don't have a grade in there. Um, and you can see actually that top where it says do, uh, to do and done. Let's just say for some reason, uh, it, your grade's not in there. Um, and Mr. Butamuch has it in as missing, but you've done it. Uh, you could always just go again, not only to your to, to do, but you go to your done and say, well, Mr. Butamuch, you send Mr. Butamuch a message kindly, um, and say, Mr. Butamuch, you know, I, it already says that I finished this under my name over here. Can you check again? Uh, and then I might be able to check again and just make sure that it is on the list. Okay, excellent. So over here, you'll also notice that uh, you can manage your account. This is how you can sign out. Um, the way that you can sign out since there are multiple, sometimes there are uh, families with multiple students uh, that are in the middle school and, or if PSI is 217 for that matter. You can go to the top right hand corner. Uh, the S actually is just for student, um, but you, it should be your student's uh, first letter or the first name. Uh, and you can go to sign out, okay? You could also add another account. Adding another account will allow another student's account on there, um, not actually specifically uh, to the Google Classroom, but actually to your account just in general, okay? This little bar is your Google Apps. Your Google Apps are really important because it can send you to different places. So for example, let's just say there's something actually in my drive. A drive is basically uh, where you're storing everything and where you can find everything that's been sent to you as an assignment. So let's just say I go to my Google Drive and I'm gonna move you over a little bit. In your Google Drive, it should look like this, right? These are the different things that have been shared with me. Oops, sorry. Uh, these are the different things that have been shared with me. Um, so it's already in my drive. I already have a priority bar. That just basically means that you can designate some things or you can make things really, really important but we probably won't be using the priority one uh, as of now. You can do shared with me. Sometimes if uh, 
while we don't have email at this school, uh, meaning technically you can't send me an email, um, you can send me messages through mine, you can send me messages on Google Classroom. Um, but uh, what you can do is you can share actually, again, the work with, uh, with me. That means like when you submit it, it'll be in my shared with me doc. If I share or Miss Vega, as you can see, for this student had shared anything with them, uh, you could see actually that uh, it's already been just given to you. And it's all stored in kind of one place in this uh, Google Drive. There's the trash, which is something that you just throw out, uh, and your recent. The recent is actually really helpful because let's just say that you're working on an assignment and uh-oh, my brother or sister has to come on here and I have to sign out. And you go, oh man, what was that assignment that I was working on? You could just go to your recent and look, there's the chains um, uh, chapter one through five review sheet, right? So it's the most recent documents or recent assignments that you're using. You could just go to it and actually just uh, open it back up again and it'll just totally pop up. So as you can see right over here, boop, right? That's the recent one that we were working with, okay? So those are just really helpful when it comes to your uh, Google Drive and how to use it. Uh, let's go over to just lastly, some of the other apps in which you have. If you click your apps, you'll notice actually that's your Google Classroom. If I wanted to go to my Google Classroom, I can click that uh, for your Google Docs. Uh, when it comes to your Google Docs, it's kind of like uh, for those parents uh, that remember it, uh, Microsoft Word. It's kind of like where like you write your essays and stuff. Sheets is like um, almost like a Microsoft uh, Excel. Uh, and slides, let's just say that I or Miss Christian uh, for Humanities, we wanted you to focus in on a character development and create a, uh, a PowerPoint for a character. Uh, you can go into your um, Google Slides and you can create it that way. Uh, your students should already be proficient in using slides, both they were using it in lower school and also seventh and eighth grade have had actually that experience um, with me throughout the year. Um, there are other things that are important in here too. You have a calendar here, your contacts, and then also your meet. Let's just say uh, you want to talk to your uh, teacher for um, uh, your office hours. Uh, now, unfortunately, we're not using Zoom. It's because we're a Google school. So you're going to go actually to this little bar that says meet. You click it and you're going to notice that up. Oh, uh, I'm recording this obviously on Sunday, March 22nd, uh, and I want to start a meeting. That essentially means, right, um, that I am going to try to reach out to someone that's in my uh, calendar, uh, sorry, in my contacts. So I can click it, and I can actually have a name for the meeting itself. Most likely, if you're meeting me, or Ms. Vega, or Ms. Quinones, or Ms. Christian, or Ms. Eldridge, or any other teacher, uh, if you're meeting them for office hours, they should already have a meeting name. But let's just say that uh, meeting with Mr. B. And I'm gonna press continue, All right? It's gonna ask you, it's gonna be joining, okay? Um, and oh, for some reason, uh, the meeting couldn't happen. And the reason why uh, it can't happen is because technically um, a teacher is supposed to be the one that has the meeting. So uh, you'll actually see right here where it says nothing scheduled. There should be something that says meeting with Mr. Budamalch for office hours. And that's where you're gonna click, and then you're gonna actually see my face, uh, or Miss Vega, or Miss Quinones, or Miss Christian for your office hours. Uh, same thing's gonna happen when it comes to advisory. We're still working out an advisory. We're gonna actually do another separate video for advisory. But essentially, um, this is where you would be actually meeting up for advisory, so you can have that face-to-face -face time with um, with uh, your teachers. Um, so that's uh, basically Google Meet. Uh, and we have our Google Classroom and also our Google Drive. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to actually contact us. Um, but again, you should right now have been invited to all of your classrooms. So please go into your Google Classroom now and start joining because your classes start tomorrow, um, Monday, March 23rd. And again, the first thing that you wanna make sure that you do is go to your homerooms and definitely do that attendance. Okay, we'll be seeing you. Bye, everybody.